fuck it was yo, man. Get up with bullshit. That's a bad Boy, money team buster. You're not tuning in with a joke. Up, you know, the best, the best thing out, they bullshit by the joke. Get up. Get on that. Like a back home in a back home. And knife in the leader's trap to the back home. You supposed to be a real nigga putting rats on. But we giving all headshots to leave your vest on. I might flash without no moves and the smoke without no toes. I might crash without no coke, putting brains on the floor. Niggas acting like he tough. They better act like he like know she said a bit man in a bed. But we fucking on the floor. I just caught a body and I left his bed for one more. Money team busting the building was down with you, bro. Nah, I'm cool, ain't you all right? No big bullshit. Yeah, I appreciate you for pulling up jokes on the nigga, man. Appreciate you having me. You already know, long live out now. Explain uh, that song for everybody who don't know. Explain it? Yeah. How it came about? Yeah. Just my, 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 my partner been passing away, you know? It was just, it was a song to dedicate to him, just to express my feelings about something about him. Because I don't really make songs for... When when your lapinas die and all that, so I don't want to see it's like I just the song just it's just a song to dedicate to him. Not like no, you know, you say yeah, I just dedicated that to him. I feel that. So look, how long you been rapping? Oh, five years. You been rapping since twenty what sixteen now? Yeah, that's four years. No, that's five years. Yeah, that's five years. That's how long you been taking it serious, or that's how long no, you really been rapping? how long I been taking it serious. You know, everybody just be rapping and shit. Like, and you probably was rapping mm -hmm. one time. You hear me? You probably was throwing up fail when you just rapping. Niggas just be rapping and shit. You hear me? So I ain't gonna say, I, I took it serious. Like, damn, when it was, you know, what? I don't know when that, when we throw that back, but no, that was probably about 2018. 2018. Okay. I don't know. Oh, the team itself. Facts, and you ended up uh, going to jail and shit like that, right? Yeah, wait, so when I went to jail in 2019. You went to jail in 2019, yeah. I, yeah, then it was 2018. Or it was like 2016, 2017. It was something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. It. Like 2016, that's what I want to see. Yeah, like 2016. Get a bag in my bag and stuff. Facts, so tell everybody where you're from. Cut off, but New Orleans. But to be specific, the cutoff, West Bank. West Bank. You did? I did like the sound for the cutoff. Um, the cutoff. What your influences was for rapping? My influence? Yeah. To 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 let people the struggle, come out the struggle. You hear me? No, like oh, you influence, influence, my influence? Yeah, my influence, influence for rap? rap, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. My cousin, Extra, Beasel. Yeah, my trail, my cousin, my other cousin, they influenced me to rap. Them boy I've been rapping since they was small, like real small. Them boy I've been rapping. I swear to God, since VCR. Them boy got a video on the tape that influenced me. That influenced me. So, now, what you want to get out of rapping? I don't know, people just hear my story. Just for people to hear me. You don't really, you don't really care where it take you? I mean, I, I care, but if I could, if I could just like one person hear me, and I'd be satisfied with that. Like it just, I just want somebody to hear me out. I might got a message on that bitch, and I just be, you know, that's my way of talking to people, cause I don't really be fucking with them. So as far as like, uh, as far as like promoting and marketing and stuff, you gonna do something different now that you did that you didn't do before? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do different. Like I, what? Lot of, I still don't think I promote myself right. I still don't think, I still think I, there's a lot more stuff that I could be doing. You hear me? But I just gotta get around the right people and stuff for to be doing it. Because I don't think I promote myself right because if I did promote myself right, it'd be bigger than what it is now. Because I know my work. You say you gotta get around the right people, what you mean? Like the like right- producers and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, like producers, like start going like people really into the music. Like who really into that, not just people who just bullshit with it and, and just, yeah. I ain't dissing nobody, I'm just saying, I gotta be, like yeah, I gotta get on. You gotta start going around that type of fighting. What you think it's gonna take for you to get out your bubble and do that? Me? Me? Just you saying I ain't gonna go fuck with that? I'm just gonna go do it, I gotta be, I gotta really put my mind to do it. 
That's the only thing that could stop me is me. You know I mean? So if I want to do that, I, I can't just say I want to do that. I got to go get up and go really do that. Right. I can't. That's the only thing to me. What do you think? What do you? What can you describe your music in one word? Can you describe your music in one word? Yeah, I can describe it in one word. You know what I'm going to say. What it is? It's authentic. But like I'm like a reality rapper. Like. So like I just like it's, it's real. So what I be saying is be real shit that be happening because I can't go rap about no fucking Ferrari and no all this and that. Cause I don't even know what, I ain't know what that was. So it's real. What you think? Three things a artist must do to be successful. Be consistent. Be consistent with music. Mm. It's like, you, like, I don't know. I just feel like you should just be consistent. Drop videos. Drop videos. You gotta have the visuals because people like to see. You gotta be consistent with songs, making music, period. Videos. And I don't know the other one. That's all I feel like. Oh, promotion. You gotta promote. You gotta promote right. You gotta have your promotion on point. What you think uh, more important, like visual, the video, or the actual music itself? The video. You think the video is why? Cause you, a video go on, a video they get to see you, they get to see how you, they get to see the, the, the how you act, they get to see how you live, and like people won't see. You could just look at a song and be like, the fuck, like it's just a song, like. Even not, even not like, like if you go on somebody video or they song, if they had a video you're going to have, it could be famous. The video going to have the most views because people like to see, they like to watch. News. News. You got anybody that you, you, uh, you want to work with? Nobody in particular like that. Uh, I'm willing to work with anybody. Well, not any, uh, anybody who really serious. But it's not nobody like that. I'm like dying to work with right now because I feel like I gotta focus on my stuff before I get us talking about working with other people. I gotta get this down pack. I gotta be, you know, gotta be consistent with myself right. before I work with other people. So what you what you mean by like being consistent with yourself? Taking it more serious, like I'm serious about it, but I know I, it's like like I said from the beginning, there's more that I could be doing, like like with the promotion is more like ain't gonna make when I'm not doing that I should be at the studio. I should be making you know songs, 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 songs. Right. Keep right. putting songs out, I keep doing songs out, but one of the songs won't get away. So look, what money team is? Money team? It's me. It's what me. is it? Huh? What is it? Is it money team? It's not just money busting. It's just yeah, money it's, team. It is. What is it? It's like a record label, is it? No, but it's soon gonna be one. That's what it's gonna be. It's just something I started. YouTube was a name and everybody just started calling me that. With Instagram. But it ain't it gonna be a record label. Ain't no group, we don't do a game band. So fuck me. So you are gonna start to build regular label, so you won't be a yeah, boss. Yeah, gonna be a regular label, build. like music wise. Though. When you gonna do it? When, when they get the, the, when I feel like it's big enough, when I feel like I just start getting paid and all that off of this, and like really having the income for this, like getting checks for this, then I'll go ahead and like I see, then I can focus on other stuff. But first, I gotta get this together. So once I get like big enough, I feel like. I feel like, yeah, when I make it look bigger, what you get record label. What you got coming up? I, videos, hella videos and songs. And I uh, just, I I just want to do videos, the visual. I feel like if they see me more on a video, dropping videos, I feel like I could take, they could take me, yeah. That's why I feel like I'm lacking that. The visual? The visual. That's what you most lacking that? Yeah. I feel like I'm liking at the visual. Cause I got the songs. I got some songs, but I don't got the visuals like that. 
I what about it. dropping songs? You you be holding songs, you be dropping a bit. I be holding them. Why you be holding them? I don't know. I just feel like I don't I feel like because I be undecided. If I want to do a mixtape, I just want to just do a song. Just, just keep putting songs out there, just keep putting singles out there and just let something get it. But then I be like, dang, I might as well take all these songs and put them all together and make a mixtape. So I be on just, just undecided. So let's 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 go through that. Uh, the pros and cons of the song versus the mixtape. What you think? Like doing a mixtape, you think doing a mixtape is better than just releasing songs? I mean, it depends. You gotta. It depends. Like if you, uh, cause like you like you could blow up off just a song. Mm -hmm. you, know I mean? you could just blow up off just a song. But then again, like you can have like a mixtape. With a hell of a good song on that bitch, and like it, 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 it plays out like I like I, I to me personally, I think you should just drop. No, you not just drop songs sooner or later. Do a mixtape, but put songs out. Just put songs out. Just put songs out. Somebody gonna get if you go rap, then somebody will catch on to that. They gonna catch on to that instead of you waiting a long time just to put a mixtape out. That's what I think too. I don't think I think people should just use songs because. The mixtape, like like you said, you blow up off just a song. All you gotta do is be hot. Yeah. So he just made a mixtape. That was his first mixtape. Mm -hmm. All he was doing was songs and videos, and blowed up. Good. So with that being said, you shouldn't wait on your song. You should just drop them bitches and make sure you have your visuals. Just and drop them. If you ain't got nobody holding you back, you ain't signed to no record label or nothing that holding you back. Just drop your song. What you holding up for? Right. Probably not know it get to him. And I need to be telling myself that. You about to make me go drop them songs. No, that's that's what me. I'm telling you right now. That's you keep I'm saying you holding, you be holding your shit. You hear me? Yeah, I do. That's what you about to make me go do. Drop some songs. All right, now let's talk city support. You feel like the city be supporting? Or they only support popular people? I feel like they only support popular people. Like, you ought to be, like... Like they want what somebody else want. You know what I mean? If you not popping, if you ain't popping or whatever, they don't really care. They don't give you like you can send a million motherfuckers your music. They really won't go listen to your shit. You know I feel like they just go they gravitate with everybody else on. You don't feel like it's because of the work ethic? You don't feel like they gravitate to the work ethic as opposed to... I could just say the work ethic, though. Like, how you know how somebody working? If you always see them working, like, you don't think so? I don't I don't got to show you that. I might, I could be working. You don't know that. The work won't speak for itself. You don't think so? It, it would, but I mean, like, you can't say I don't have a work ethic, because how are you going to tell me that? If you drop a song every if eight I'm months, that's not a work ethic. No, but if I'm comfortable with, if I'm content, like, if I feel like, yeah, I'm working hard, then how somebody else going to tell me that? Shouldn't be able to tell me that. I feel like the work goes before itself. If you feel like you're working hard. What you mean? Like, if you working hard, then niggas going to see you working hard. You going to know you working hard, but you... If you feel like you working hard and nothing is progressing around you, you're not working hard enough. You see what I'm saying? The work gonna speak for itself. Fact. But I don't feel like I had that problem though. So that's probably why I'm saying that too. Cause I feel like it's just me. I'm the only I'm the only thing that can hold me back. That's how I feel too. Cause I feel like they they fuck with my music, but they only gonna fuck with it as much as I I put the energy into it. Yeah. Like you they say what you saying is true, like I ain't putting all the energy into it, why should they put it in to go listen to my shit? Right. And I don't even care. That's how I'm gonna look at it. So if I if, if that's, that's what I gotta get together too. Go ready to put my all into it, then that might make a motherfucker be like, I didn't look this serious like that that I'm gonna go see what you talking about. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's how it happened. I'm gonna go see what you talking about. I see him doing this shit every day. I'm going to go listen to one song. You know I mean? I'm yeah. telling you. Especially if you see it every day and it's fire and caught your ear by now. Yeah, you're going to go listen to that bitch. But you got to put it in their faith for them to see it. Yeah. Like a nigga not going to fuck with somebody. If, if you walk out 
So if you walk outside right now, that nigga be like, see, Buster, bitch, I always listen to your music, bitch, I rap, bitch. You hear me? I want you to sign me right now. You gonna be like, I don't know this. I ain't never seen it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, as opposed to be like, I ain't fuck. I'm gonna fuck with that. You see what I'm saying? But if you start seeing this nigga, as soon as you go home, you get home, you see this nigga all over Instagram and shit. You gonna hit dude up like, what's happening, bitch? You hear me? I got some got going on. Yeah. I got some got going Yeah, that's how I be. So, yeah, I put, I, I, I feel like you do have to work extra hard here, though. Like, you got to. To, to get your face. You got to. You, I feel like if you go hustle your face to the top of New Orleans, you can hustle your shit anywhere. Yeah, so we're not gonna say that they just go to the popping people. I can't really say that. It's probably like they work at it like you said too. But at the same time, I feel like cause like I, I be looking at them like how other cities could do that. They be producing multiple rappers, Chicago, New York, shit like that, Philly. Bigger markets. They got shit for that. They literally got places where you can go to the studio at downtown. Man. So how we don't got that? We don't have it. We, we don't have it. Ain't no, we got ain't like no studio down here? Yeah, we got a studio. We ain't got no real five-star studio. Because the the artists come down here just to go. You see what I'm saying? Like, they got record labels and all in Atlanta, in Chicago. Yeah, that's after somebody blew up, though. Well, Chicago always had a, a market for them. Yeah, about. but they left. I, don't know, I feel like New Orleans always look to Birdman and Master P now. Who else they gonna look to? We don't have nobody, we gotta build it. But in order to do that, we gotta leave from down here. We can't be down here. But then you are not gonna be up having New Orleans on your back. You is, you just gotta, but you gotta make it, you gotta make it somewhere else in order to make it. You can't, you ain't gonna make it down here, bro. I mean... It's 300,000 people in the city limits. 300,000 people. So how you feel you ain't make it? You talking about like right, with music career wise? Yeah. Well, now nah, you gonna have to expand. I feel like as as, as like an entertainer, you ain't gonna make it unless you leave the city. Yeah, that's kind of true. But how you gonna go to another city where they don't even fucking know you? You gotta hustle, bro, cause you gotta think like where you start hustling from. Like, say if you if they know you, like where you what what where would you go? If I was to move, like you gotta, you city. gotta go get a whole new different followers and shit like this. Here. I mean, that's you the gotta, point. That's the point. But yeah. if you could think about this, if, you, if you, you work for the brand, like selling CDs, no, what you gonna do? No. What then? What I gonna do? You promote yourself. Oh, I just go to. I mean, Instagram catch a location, bro. All right, say if you like, I'm just talking like, say if you you not comfortable with just going everywhere, going just walk up in clubs, then and you just should keep, hire somebody to promote for you. Because you're not a promoter. What if, what if they're not able to hire somebody? Then if you don't go take that risk, if you know you're not gonna go all in. But if you're not, if you uncomfortable doing business, then I mean, it's not that you're uncomfortable doing business. You probably just been through some shit in your life. You're not just gonna go to, cause like, how you gonna go from leave from your city and go to another city and expect the blow? And they said they're gonna be looking at like they got. Rappers down here that's rapping now, and they ain't even got this shot. I don't it's feel be like it's the harder to me. I don't feel like that. I feel like the dope sell itself anyway. It do, but if you got your yeah on the back on a, on a map too. I'm saying you got your city on 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 your back going to another city. That may be easier. Look, boy, them from the water, they fuck with me. Who cool really did that? Hey, them niggas don't leave the city. That's why niggas don't really be blowing up like that, bro. Niggas don't be selfish, but this that dumbass shit. But we get you, yeah. Where we gonna go? Atlanta. Whatever you feel like is a New Orleans is a small market city, bro. It's three hundred thousand people in the city. It is. It you really know? is. Out of three hundred, I'm gonna say four hundred thousand, just to give us another hundred thousand. But out of them four hundred thousand people, how many you think? What? How many you think people don't listen to local music? It's hard to blow it up. All right, so that's why I'm about to ask you a question. Well, how the hell do you think we going, I'm going to say not us, but how it, we, we could change that? Like, you have to leave the city. You have to get a so bigger following behind you and just, come back. So you're just telling me to up and leave the day? No, I'm not saying up and leave the day. I'm saying you. if you feel like you, I feel like here you're going to hit a cap. It's only going to be so much you can do here. 
You know what I mean? Because then, like, the city don't even be having, like, shows and shit for local artists. You see what I'm saying? Like, they don't throw no shit. Like, they ain't no promoters that be booking Wayne down here and be getting niggas the headline for Wayne. I mean, you know, the, the uh, open up for Wayne and shit like that. Oh, ain't ain't too many niggas throwing scared, that shit anyway. Scared to, get me scared. And that ain't no excuse. If it would, I feel like that's not, because niggas would be scared. Niggas scared that niggas ain't gonna spend no money or what? They just scared of the city. I don't think that, that I don't know. I don't know. I just don't feel like, I, think I'm I feel like they ain't, niggas ain't trying to bring that shit here because there ain't really no money to be spent here. It's not, but it is. So it depends on what you spend it on. Because, uh, like, when they bring all the tourists and that shit down, I mean, the money, it is a lot of money. They make a lot of money now. It's just Who like, make a lot of money? Well, not the government, but it's like going to the... That's what I'm the saying. Is, the shit. demographic that you selling to is not really... It's not down here. You hear me? It's really not. Like, is it, it is, but it's in a small, tight space. Right. What's so You see move. All right. You don't feel like that? Yeah, yeah one day. I'm on the now. Yeah, I'm saying. All right, so you put yourself on a time limit? What you mean? For yeah. the what? To but, be like? I mean, with, with your artistry, period, do you feel like if I'm blue by disease, then I'm going to give it up? No. I don't really care. Me now to the point to, well, just do what you want to do. Why would I care about what another motherfucker is talking about? Like I said, I'm changing one person, but I know my shit going to get it. My shit going to pop. Once I once once I put the right energy into that, it's gonna pop. So I ain't even worried. Whatever, ain't no AIDS or none of that. They gonna love you regardless. You know? You blow up, you could be fifty years old. They gonna love you. Fuck what you talking about? What's something you want your supporters to know about you? She don't tell them. Get to know me. What are you judging? It's gonna be hard to get to know me. Cause I don't know. Yeah. Oh. What you mean, like just regular stuff? Yeah, yeah, it could be anything you want them. You want to tell them. I don't know. I love y'all. Watch my video. Go look me up. Boy, he gonna have all that under the wherever gonna be here, up there, down there, wherever he gonna put it. He gonna have it on that. Yep, all the gate. Watch my video. And I appreciate everybody who do watch my video. Everybody, we do take just a few minutes, three minutes out the day to go watch my shit. That's what I'm saying. I appreciate it. Yeah, What's your favorite podcast? You know, the Joe's, man, not playing, man. You playing, you Joe's and bad, nah. Keep talking about what's the favorite podcast. <laughs> Fucking Joe's, man. Gotta be bullshit. That's everybody's favorite podcast. 